Yeah. Here we are, we're in uh, Miami, getting ready for a day of racing in the Etchells. I'm here with uh, US Rolex Yachtsman of the Year, Judd Smith. Thanks for joining me, Judd. All right. Um, we're in a privileged position here. Judd's our coach uh, for this regatta, and it's it's like going to Sailing University. Fantastic. Um, so, Judd, we're, we're, um, I've never seen this before and sailed with you. Uh, we've got like a floating tack stop instead of a slug here. Can you just talk us through the thinking there? Right, the, the idea of that is that on board you can come become a sailmaker. That's the way I like to think of it because you can affect the love curve. You know, I can make a light air main, a heavy air main, a medium air main, or you could just add a tack strop and have one main that can make it do it all. Because there's no way the sailmaker can make a perfect main for every condition. So what this allows you to do is you have it tighter. It's like adding luff curve. So everything you do here, luff curve is a very linear adjustment. So if I adjust this by a centimeter, it's like adjusting, if I pull this forward by a centimeter, it's like adjusting, adding five millimeters of luff curve to the middle of the main and adding some, you know, seven and a half at the lower part. And at the top stripe, it's like adding two and a half millimeters. I mean, it's very linear and vice versa. If we're sailing in a big breeze, you have the mast back really straight. Generally, it's almost self-adjusting because it's a little bit of stretch there with the spectra. But when you want to get rid of luff curve down low, because the mast is almost inverted down low and it's that straight, although it's not too big an issue with this whale mast, it's a little more self-correcting, that you can get rid of luff curve by easing this off a certain amount. And, you know, every centimeter you ease this off is like getting rid of seven and a half millimeters at the lower stripe that's a significant change that's more than i can do in the loft so i like features like this that make um the sailors become sail makers and they can change their sails so it's a thing it's a little off of most people's radar but it's definitely something i'm looking at as a coach and trying to get everybody on board looking at as a sailor to become you know when they're moving changing especially affecting that lower stripe of the sail not just the main but even the jib too so you know, when I'm looking from off the coach boat, the coach boat looking, I look mostly at the middle stripe and the lower stripe, but particularly lower stripe. If lower stripe's wrong on the main or the jib, that's um, that's that slow. I mean, if it's either too full, and that's where your power's from, but it's also where you get overpowered. So I spent, you know, most of the thing I'm looking for is that lower stripe on the main and the jib being right and getting the camber's depth right for the condition. So I'm having the guys, you know, easy outhaul. Who's to move the leads for that? 